Damn, he got up them stairs, didn't he? Yo, 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 what's up? Hello? Miss Dunn, can I run a couple of questions by you? If they help you find Yale, go ahead. Oh, damn. Hold up. What's in those papers you're going through? Red tape. Great. If you find something, please let me know. I thought you were the detective. You do your job. And I'll do mine. Bitch, I will slap you. Does Black Sad have to choke a bitch? Thanks. That's uh -huh. it for now. And all I do is further I get prove. It. You don't like me, but there's something you need to know. I'm all ears. I don't like myself either. I don't really like myself either. So that's one thing we've got in common. Duly noted, Mr. Blackside. Mm-hmm. Look at that heater, dude. That looks serious. I forgot the entire reason I was here. Walked in and went up the stairs. I got shit to do. What? I don't know, but I'm going to do it. Hold up. It's over here, isn't it? I just, I went and wasted so much time to get a lockpick and then forgot that I was coming. Oh shit, that's a big motherfucker right there. Excuse me. It says... Hole. <laughs> Hole and other poems. I say poem, by the way. <laughs> Yale's locker is full of surprises. Is this cake? Oh. Oh my god, those are so old. Oh my god. Oh my god, I've seen... <laughs> Those things are stupid as shit. They're just three long springs on two handles. Like, what do you do with that? We're finished here, right? I mean, all the surprises and everything crazy that happened in this locker. Oh my god. Am I supposed to read this or some shit? Hole and other poems. Abraham Greenberg. I don't give a shit. Are we finished now? Oh my god. Why does it keep... Is he going to say it for once or what? Okay, we're done here. I did everything for that. Is there more in here? All the buttons, all the buttons. That was a waste of damn time. I really did all that shit. The clues collected allow a new deduction. Well, you figure it out, motherfucker. I'm finding clues then. This is pissing me off in this bitch. Oh, God. Buffalo that works for O'Leary wears a shamrock on his lapel. What do you want me doing? Oh God. Am I supposed to piece these together? Okay, okay. Paint can. This. 
Dude, what am I doing here then? I don't understand what the fuck is going on. Oh God. Well, I know this much. The chest expander in the trash belongs to Yale. You could just do some wide bench presses. There's a bunch of different <laughs> That workout equipment cracks my shit up. Boomers could not have been more stupid. So... Bleh. What was the point of all of that shit then? Do we go talk to her now? I don't understand anything. Oh shit. Rolodex? Dunn kept files on the gym's staff and clients. Name, address, and date of birth. Okay, so there's staff information. Who gives a shit? What do you know about Jake? What can you tell me about Jake? I thought you were friends. Guess I was wrong. He and my father were friends. So don't go down that road. Did you get along with Bobby Yale? Mm. <sighs> okay. Forget it. I wouldn't give a damn about him if it weren't for this stupid gym his stupid fight is supposed to save. Happy? I'm beginning to believe she came to me about this to make her not look like the person who was in charge of all this. I don't know. But she's acting suspicious. What about the cleaning lady? Watch her jump on it. What do you think about Mary, the cleaning lady? Can't say. I, I barely know her. And I'm not one who's quick to judge other people. Did you and your father get along? Let's just say our relationship got better when I left for Sunny University. An eight-hour drive from here. Meaning? I'll lay it out for you, Mr. Blacksad. My father, Joe Dunn, disappeared the day my mother died. He became a shell of himself. Joe Dunn, my legal guardian. A man who gave me food, shelter, clothing, and an education. And that's more than you need to know. Anyone see the tail on the Statue of Liberty? <laughs> Let's do it! Oh, I hate this thing. I really do. Okay. Let's see. Is this anything? No. Well, this back here. Is this anything? Boom shakalaka. Manhattan's new, new boxing gym. What the? What's wrong? Someone's taking pictures from the rooftop. Are you sure? I'll go oh, take shit. a look. Oh, we got some trifling bullshit going on. Now, who's that rope for, Miss Dunn? Mm. Weekly. Huh? 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 Say, so you little weasel! Huh? 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 Got it. Uh, 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 what the hell are you uh, doing here? Uh, oh. <laughs> hey, hey, look! Isn't that Cassidy? <laughs> don't change the subject, you sad little... Why don't we settle this over ice cream, huh, John? Just like in the good old days. 
How did you get up here? I don't want anyone to see you. Everyone, even the most hapless of creatures, has a gift. Something that makes them special, that makes them worth knowing. Foul-smelling Weekly is no exception. No matter what he does, it's impossible to stay mad at him for too long. Mmm. Ah, this bourbon shake is delicious. Want a taste? You know I don't like milk. Your loss. So, Joe Dunn hangs himself and leaves his gym to his daughter, which makes her the first woman to run a boxing gym, I think. The real question is, why did he commit suicide? Well, it's pretty obvious. Is that so? Care to shed some light on this, Sherlock? Oh, there's no need to look for reasons. People hang themselves every day out of sadness. And stuff like that. End of story. Everyone knows that Jim had some serious money issues. Maybe he just got tired of fighting. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's just a hunch. I wouldn't bet my life on it. I've got other suspects. Like O'Leary, bookmaker. Desmond O'Leary? The same O'Leary who used to date Helen Moore? America's sweetheart? Now that's a woman. And then there's the walrus. Who was that guy? Oh, come on. You've never heard of Frank Cassidy? The president of the Boxing Managers Association? Who's also Stone's agent. Bobby Yale's rival. Hmm. He might know why Dunn killed himself, right? I decided to ask Weekly to investigate Cassidy. My reasons? Weekly had already proven to be nosy. The further I kept him from the gym, the better. Plus, any information found on Cassidy could be useful. You never know. But with Weekly, you just never know what the best approach might be. Should I give him an order? Or a yeah. subtle suggestion? Yeah, you might be right about Cassidy. But, hmm, it won't be easy to make him talk. He seems like a pretty tough cookie. Only a thorough and efficient detective could pull it off. But the problem is, I already got enough on my plate. You're a lucky man, John Black said. I don't follow. You just found the thorough detective you need. Oh, of course. What a great idea. How did I not think of you? Hey, don't sweat it. But you'll have to do me a favor. Tell Sonya Dunn that a legendary journalist from What's News wants an interview. Weekly, please. Well, if not, bye-bye, Cassidy. You know, there's a third option. What if I tell Sonya to sue you for spying on her? You wouldn't. <laughs> Try me. Okay, you win. By the way, I never told you what happened to Colbert, did I? No. What happened? Oh, uh, okay. The rhinoceros came by and offered me money to keep quiet. Wow. Are we talking petty cash or big bucks? The latter. That's my boy. Good job, Black Sad. Your boy Black Sad didn't take the money. What? Listen, Weekly. Yeah, I know. It wasn't the right thing to do. Yada, yada, yada. So... Was there really someone on the roof? Yeah, but he was faster than me. I couldn't get my hands on him. A fast spy and a slow detective. This must be my lucky day. Getting your money's worth out of me. <laughs> Do I keep talking to her or what? Like, oh, you know, what was supposed to be doing in this? <laughs> Oh, 
I saw you arguing with a guy named Cassidy. What did he want? Uh, remember the fight that needs to take place in order to save this gym? Well, Cassidy manages Yale's rival, Stone, the reigning champion. If Bobby doesn't show up, he'll lose money. Maybe not a lot, but enough to care. I have already done. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks. That's it for now. Now I feel like I should have told her. Let's look at this holodeck. See if there's anything else in there. He has no fingernails. Dunn kept files on the gym's staff and clients. Name, address, and date of birth. Oh. Just be going through your file cabinet over here. Don't worry about me. What is this? Seemed like a happy family. Who's that in the bottom corner? I'll just go through this safe. I'd like to take a look inside that safe now. Could you give me the combination? I'd love to help you, but... My mother's birthday used to be the combination, but I already tried it. She lying? Could you tell me your birthday? Of course. March 6th. And the year? I'm 24, Mr. Blacksad. You do Ooh, the math. You lying? No luck. We gonna get in this safe. Use the random combination. Cause that always works. Damn. Let's see if I get lucky. No luck. You didn't go counterclockwise at all. Can't see nothing. Oh yeah, I gotta go talk Dunn's to the room had quite a view. Oh, he hung himself in the center of the ring. Oh damn. Let's go talk to this gorilla. Bum, 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 bum. <gasps> but you crossed the line. What leads a man to do something like this? Life's already dealt me a fair share of blows, but... If only I could get that 24-year-old girl to just... I don't know why. Something just doesn't add up. I wish he'd just go cat on that for a minute and just start rear, 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 like going at it, playing with it and shit. <laughs> it's a string game. Man, you, you, you acknowledge me. Thanks, pal. So, what else can you tell me about Dunn's death? Well, not much. My memory's not what it used to be. Dunn wasn't black, but he allowed you and Bobby Yale to train here. Yeah, this was the first integrated gym in the city, I think. But not everyone liked that, hmm? You've seen the graffitis, right? If I get my hands on that bastard. So they went racial, like skin color, 
Meanwhile, everyone's walking around a different animal breed of some kind, or a different animal race. Like, are they really that stupid? You have hair. You can't even see what your skin color is. Are y'all that stupid? Do you have any idea where Bobby Yale could be? Not a clue. I dropped by Bobby Yale's apartment. I think he might be involved with O'Leary, the bookmaker. Uh, you sure? Yale had some dark years, no doubt, but Dunn turned him into a decent guy. I'm no d d detective, but I wouldn't follow that lead. That means I'm following it. If Yale's gonna fight the reigning champion, he's got a big career ahead of him. He hasn't lost a single fight since he turned pro. The little bastard beat the socks off me a few years back. How? <laughs> you said Yale joined a gang back in the day? Know which one? Look at him thinking. Hell, I don't know, John. This is New York City. They are more gangs than people. That was the answer that you came up with. The obvious you were making up an excuse answer. Okay. Do you know any of his relatives? Is his father ever, ever, Avenarius? Avenarius? The boxer poet? Didn't he disappear 20 years ago? Yeah, and his wife, Bobby's mom, died shortly a a after. Dunn is the closest thing the family the poor kids had ever since. That explains the poetry book in his locker. What can you tell me about Sonia Dunn? She's hot, ain't she? <laughs> you two seem to get along nicely. Well, I've known it since she was a baby. But she sure has grown, uh, if you get my drift. Oh, he nasty. I hadn't seen her since she left for college about four years ago. It seems like her father's death didn't really upset her. Well, she likes to play it cool, which makes her really hot. This is just nasty. What was Joe Dunn like? Uh, he was a decent man. Have you seen all those slogans on the wall? Those motivational phrases? Joe really believed in them. All of them. God, the freak. He's just staring at... Okay. Um, saxophone player? Who? He played the saxophone, right? Yeah, pretty well for a white boy. But he quit when his wife died. Makes no sense, right? I mean... Nothing draws chicks like the brass. Why quit when you're finally free? Ha 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 ha. Oh god. Joe Dunn or Joey Dunn? Huh? Uh, nobody called him Joey. Well, maybe his wife. Although, she didn't call him anything after she died. Ha ha ha. That was pretty, uh, calloused. I found an empty wine bottle on the rooftop. Did Joe Dunn drink? Uh, only for a while, back when his wife died. But eventually he quit. After that, he'd only drink on special occasions. I better let you get back to your drills. All right. So is that his stuff up on the roof? And there were two glasses, wasn't weren't there? So there was someone with him. It was a setup. So what now, Black Sad? What now? Oh shit. On the surface it seems dry, but there's no dust. And it's damp underneath. It could have fallen the day Dunn died.
All right, let's follow these footsteps. Excuse me, Pole. You let me get that now. Oh God. How can I look at that, but still not give a shit about something that's right next to my head? Can I get out of this, please? Otis. You know it's a bulldog. You know it is. <laughs> An English bulldog. Um. What was I doing again? Do I want to go outside? Oh shit. Yep, there go the footsteps. How did the footprints not get on the wood? Whatever, man. Chief Officer Smirnov. Rhinoceros' wife. Why am I doing any of that? I'm doing it. Joe Dunn, the boxing coach. You hear anything about his death? Like that. Is that you? You got me. How's everything, Chief? Oh, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Too much work as usual. As for Joe Dunn, he hanged himself in the story. I'm too busy, John. I can't afford to put a single man on the case. Why are you asking? <laughs> Just to see the true integrity of a police officer. <laughs> Joe Dunn's daughter hired me. But I still don't get it. Any signs of foul play? It's just a hunch, but I need to follow up on it. All right, then. Do your thing. So, are you going to help me? I wish I could, John. Anyway, I'm afraid I don't have anything useful to share. And it seems like you don't either. But if you do find something, give me a call. I helped you with your little problem when they killed Natalia. And we agreed not to talk about it ever again. See you, John. Always a pleasure. Mother! Let's call the rhinoceros' wife. Why not? No, I'm not gonna. Because I don't understand. Like, there's... I originally came this way for some footsteps. And saw that. I've already come out here, though. Can I not get past that? I can't go any further? Nope. Okay. I might just be the last person in New York without a TV. Who needs one anyway? Give it 50, 60 years, you'll get the internet. Who cares? So then what do I want to do then? I just... <sighs> footsteps came out here. I just, I don't under, like, I assume the footsteps are to make me find him, but I did that a long time time ago
Is there nothing over here? I still don't know what I'm doing. I just, I, I really don't understand what I need to be doing right now. <laughs> Is there anything over here, maybe? No, waste of my time. I can't use the phone now? Dude, are you for real with this? Come on now, don't be stupid. I just don't understand anything. Not like, oh my God. I once shredded a bag like that, just out of pure rage. I just don't understand a fucking thing right now, man. Like, what the hell's going on? Let me go try and talk to her one last time, then I'm getting the hell out of here. I just, I don't... I don't know what's going on. Hold up. Just maybe I need to talk to her before I leave. I just, I don't know. I don't understand anything. and steady heartbeat. Big, bright eyes. Looks well rested. Either she didn't mourn her father or she really knows how to work that makeup. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. 
Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Oh my god, am I frustrated with this. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm going to go back to the office. I don't know how to do that. I'm going to try to do that. Thank you, Mr. Blacksad. Does the postman always leave your mail on the floor? I don't know. I... I... What's wrong? It's... It's my mother's wedding ring. Who had it? I don't know. My father wore it on his pinky finger after she died. Not always, apparently. Will you find out why? I'll try. But there's something else I'm worried about. This might have something to do with the... Uh... Bobby Yale's disappearance. Oh, oh my, yes. It could be. Will you please give me a moment? Of course. That was the dumbest answer. I just tried lying to her, I guess. I mean, I don't know. Uh-oh, a new deduction. Oh, shit. put the wedding ring in the envelope and wrote Sonia Dunn on it. But why did she have the ring in the first place? Okay. Do we go back in here now, or what? Yes. I need to ask you some questions. Go on. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Man, how many times are we gonna have this conversation? Did you find anything interesting in those papers? Oh, no. God. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Okay. Do I search this room now? I don't like. I feel so lost right now. I don't, I just, I don't understand anything right now, man. Like, just what is going on? What was that? Looks like Dunn liked to measure his daughter and Bobby Yale each year. Sonia's measurements stop at 18, and there's a gap in Bobby's between ages 15 and 17. I remember that fight, back when Jake was coming up the ranks. Okay. <sighs> All right, I'm going to stop right here because I just I don't know what to do and I'm tired of wandering around wasting my time. So 
just going to end this one right here, and hopefully we'll get back into it in the next one. Until then, peace.